Hey everyone, so I personally believe that Game of Thrones has probably some of the best dialogue of any TV show ever, and I feel like this clip really highlights that, and so I wanted to play this clip and break it down line by line and really kind of lay out why I believe that it's such great dialogue. And so fair warning, spoiler alert for um, Season 1, Episode 10 of Game of Thrones, so if you haven't seen up to that point in the series, um, I would not watch this video because there are some major elements of season one that get spoiled in this clip. And then, so I'm also, I would recommend if you've never seen this scene in its entirety, I would highly recommend going in and watching it all the way through because it's obviously a lot better to watch it all the way through than having me stop it every few seconds. But anyway, so let's take a look at the clip and then, you know, I'll stop it when I feel like something should be said. I want to see him now. So just to kind of set the scene, so this is, so in the previous episode, um, Jamie Lannister had been captured by Rob Stark and his forces, and so he's a prisoner for the Starks, and then Ned Stark had also just been executed in the previous episode, so Catelyn is feeling all sorts of, you know, emotions regarding that, and so this is her confronting Jamie about that. Leave us. Look lovely tonight, Lady Stark. Widowhood becomes you. You bet must be lonely. Is that why you came? I'm not at my best, but I think I can be of service. Yeah. Slip out of that gown and we'll see if I'm up to it. I mean, so just just right off the start, you see the perfect blend of humor and just utter cruelty because what Jamie says right there is so cruel after someone just lost their husband to say something that that cruel but also in a humorous way that is just shows so much arrogance and it just a, a great start and just a really sums up kind of Jamie Lannister's character especially in these early seasons with just this this arrogant cocky um very sarcastic person that this scene highlights his character perfectly I do like a violent woman. I will kill you tonight, sir. Pack your head in a box and send it to your sister. Well, I must show you how. Hit me again, over the ear, and again and again. You're stronger than you look, it shouldn't take long. And so also just in, in that clip, you see it a little bit more. And, and it, it's, it's highlighted even more because he just got smashed across the, across the face with a rock. And so obviously you know that he's feeling a lot of pain, but it just shows that he doesn't care. You know, that, that dialogue right there shows that he doesn't necessarily feel the pain or enjoys it to a certain extent. Who, who knows? But it, it really highlights. And you see, just to make a joke like that after, like, after getting smashed across the face of the rock, it really says a lot about the person's character. And to keep making jokes, to keep insulting Catelyn through that, it excellent dialogue. Do you want the world to believe, isn't it, that you don't fear death? But I don't, my lady. The dark is coming for all of us. Why cry about it? Because you are going to the deepest of the seven hells if the gods are just. What gods are those? The trees your husband prayed to? Where were the trees when his head was getting chopped off? That that line right there, he, when he goes, what what gods are those? The trees your husband prayed to? Where were the trees when his head was getting chopped off? That's perfect. That is such a beautiful callback to Ned Stark. And, the, the, you know, there's that great scene of Ned in episode one where he's cleaning off his sword and he's, um, um, you know, sitting in the forest, you know, praying to the old gods. And it just really shows that his religion didn't save him obviously you know he he ended up dying and it, it just just the i mean you can see the look on cat's face there right there where she knows that he's you, you know her religion just doesn't feel like it exists at that moment everything feels so bleak and and jamie highlights it perfectly when he's like oh i i should be worried about the gods what, what did the god what did the gods do for your husband and it's just excellent an excellent scene so let, let's keep going if your gods are real if they're just, why is the world so full of injustice? 
because of men like you. There are no men like me. Only me. Obviously, you get a little bit of a... I don't want to say cliche, but it's definitely something that I feel like it's brought up a lot. You know, if the, if the, if the gods are just, then why is the world so full of injustice? B a bit of a stereotypical line, but then it's followed immediately, you know, because of, because of men like you. And then, you know, you get this almost sadness coming from Jamie where he goes, you know, there are no men like me, only me. And and you, you feel a little like, you know, he's obviously a bad person, but you feel a little, a little bad for him. He seems kind of sad right there, very lonely. Um coming from someone who's so arrogant there's this weird sort of like realism that kind of seeps out of his voice right there and it's really well done so let's keep going my son bran how did he come to fall from that tower i pushed him out the window why I hoped the fall would kill him. Why? So you, you see right there, Cat, she's tired of his games, gonna cut everything. How how did my son fall? How how did he fall? And Jamie just, just no nonsense. So he just doesn't care at this point. It's like I pushed him out the window. Oh, and you just see her, she's just, you just see her 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 fa you know, great um facial acting by the actress that plays Catelyn there, because you just see her heart just breaks right there. She's like, Why? Why, why did why did you do it? And then Jamie just like, I hoped that it would kill him. And it's just like, you know, just obviously not really answering her question, but literally answering the question. And it's just so, the same thing, the whole scene, you have Jamie just with this sarcastic, this humor just mixed in with this, this cruelty, talking about such a horrible thing. He pushed a little boy out of a window and he's making jokes about it. But how, how does that not just perfectly sum up the character of Jamie? Um, and so, you know, let, let's finish off the scene right here. Uh, you should get some sleep. It's going to be a long walk. So, you know, not much is said in those final few lines, but 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 that kind of highlights the whole the whole scene really where Catelyn kind of came there for some answers and sure she got the confirmation of the fact that Jamie had pushed Bran out the window, but a lot of people already suspected that. So nothing real really came from it. And so, you know, Jamie right there, he's still after everything that's going on being tied up, just smashed across the face of the rock. He still has the upper hand and he's like, "Yeah, I just go to bed. It's not it's not worth your time. Just just go to bed. It's not. It's okay. Highlights the scene perfectly, where you so a, lo a lot is said, but really no information is actually given. This this is just an example of what I feel like is patented Game of Thrones. I I, I love this scene. It is a personal favorite of mine. Um, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like dialogue breakdown. You know, let me in, know in the comments below kind of what you think of clips like this because i'd like to make this a series on my channel so definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video you know make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day